President Trump is shining a bright light on an experimental antibody cocktail that he claims has cured him of coronavirus. So we wanted to take a closer look at what this treatment is and look at how soon it could realistically be an option for more Americans who are battling COVID-19. They call them therapeutic, but to me it wasn't therapeutic. It just made me better, okay? I call that a cure. I want to get for you what I got and I'm going to make it free. You're not going to pay for it. Medical experts are quick to caution these experimental drugs are treatments, not cures. But they are among the more promising therapies being tested right now, and they may be moving closer to the general public. Last night, Regeneron submitted a request to the FDA seeking an emergency use authorization for the treatment. The drug is a combination of two manufactured antibodies. Those antibodies bind onto part of the coronavirus's spike protein. The virus needs those spikes to invade our cells and attach itself. Blocking the spikes could help neutralize the virus. While early results seem promising, the clinical trials are still in progress. Regeneron has said publicly that the treatment has been most successful in patients who had not already produced their own antibodies to the coronavirus. As for the president's claims that the antibody cocktail would be free, Regeneron has received more than $500 million from the federal government as part of Operation Warp Speed. The company says there are doses available for about 50,000 patients right now. They expect to have enough for 300,000 patients within the coming months. Under the agreement with the government, those doses would be distributed free of charge to U.S. patients because the government's already paid for them. And while the Regeneron antibody cocktail is attracting the most attention right now, there are actually at least 70 different antibody treatments currently being studied to fight COVID-19. Eli Lilly has also submitted a request to the FDA for emergency use authorization for its antibody treatment.